Your boy Dan, aka A Drop, pretty as the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Mono Bug Playthrough. On this adventure, I'm gonna be playing through Pokemon Let's Go Eevee for the first time, of course, and I'm gonna be using my favorite type of Pokemon, which is bug types. I'm also gonna be using my partner Pokemon Eevee, which, well, the fact it's not a bug type, it'll still be fun to use, and I feel like I gotta use my partner Pokemon. So I'm really looking forward to this adventure and playing through this game and sharing my experience with you guys. If you guys are hyped for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, just like I am, show some love on that like buttons down below and definitely be sure to subscribe if you're new and don't forget if you like the video you subscribe you turn on those notifications and leave a little comment in the uh, comment section below you'll have a chance to win a nintendo switch going on for the next month i'm gonna be giving away a let's go pikachu and eevee nintendo switch so like subscribe ring that bell and leave a comment super simple and you have a chance to win a nintendo switch for yourself or a friend definitely be sure to do that now before i go any further i'm so pumped actually i'm just gonna go into it. i can't wait any longer man i'm so excited for this game dude playing a brand new pokemon my game for the first time is one of the most incredible things man and I'm really really pumped and I'm really pumped to use my favorite type and I'll get into like why I'm using bug types here in a little bit but Professor Oak has some stuff to say so let's see what he's got going on hello there glad to meet you welcome to the world of Pokemon my name is Oak people affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon professor mm-hmm a Cubone eh? the world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon and if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some people keep them as companions. Others, the, I, as for myself, I don't, I don't think I pressed the button, but I study Pokemon as a profession. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? All right, Oak, what do you got for me, buddy? What do I look like? Well, so I will say the girl trainer does look pretty phenomenal. I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to go with the trainer that I think looks closest to me, which is going to be the number, the first guy right there. Uh, I got dark hair, you know, so let's do that. We'll name myself a drive, which is of course what I go by and uh, We're gonna jump right into this adventure, man. I am so thrilled to be playing. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee for the first time, man This is gonna be incredible. Um, okay, so my name's a drive. We're good to go there. Oh My gosh, look at me and look at my Eevee. My Eevee's just running around. Oh, Eevee has deserted me for this guy here I think his name is Trace or something this boy right here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next to you. What was his name? Uh, I get to choose his name. Oh, I thought they had a name for him, but I'm gonna name him Chase, which is of course my good pal Crimson Seabad. And I feel like it's only fitting that I name him Chase because of my man Crimson Seabad. I just, I just feel like I have to. So shout out to my man Chase, he's the homie. If you guys don't know, I'm doing a 152-hour Pokemon Let's Go Marathon right now on Twitch.tv slash eDrive. So go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's going to be going live on the 16th, of course, and then it's going to be going to the 22nd. Unfortunately, my man Crimson Seabad won't be there, but my boy Game Boy Luke and Patty Trolls will be. And we're going to have a blast, man. It's it's already been a good time hanging out with these guys. So, I see his name is Chase. Look at Eevee. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, dude. It's so cute. eDrive, my boy. Your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Is it now? A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. So let's go has been like my catchphrase for years and I love the fact that the game is called Let's Go. So let's talk about this whole bug thing, man, because a lot of people are probably like, Adrop, why are you doing a bug only playthrough? Well, for those who don't know, before I started doing Pokemon on YouTube, when I got X and Y, I did a bug only playthrough as my first playthrough. When I got Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I did a bug only playthrough. When I got Sun and Moon, I did a bug only playthrough. When I got Ultra Sun and Moon, I did a ghost only playthrough. Anyway, I'm gonna do a bug only playthrough this game to kick things off, and I'm also gonna be doing another playthrough, uh, most likely a shiny playthrough or something like that. So, uh, this game looks incredible. This actually reminds me a lot of X and Y for the first time, like this bedroom and stuff. Uh, but bug types are just my favorite type, man. I, I like As a kid, I always wanted to challenge myself to play through Pokemon games. And uh, so press the A button and you can tilt the control stick to run. You can open up the main menu by pressing X. And you can save your progress. I can't wait to get started. Can you, says Chase. So you can run or you can kind of walk slowly. That's cool. Um, yeah, so I, I always wanted to challenge myself when I was younger to play Pokemon games. And 
One of the ways I could do that was to use a, a specific type because that would make the game inherently harder, right? So I picked bug types because they're often thought of as being pretty weak and I just fell in love with using bug types. So it's kind of become a thing of mine. I just like bug types a lot. And uh, honestly, I like anytime a new game comes out, if I have an opportunity to do a bug only playthrough, I gotta do one, man. So I'm coming up. I'm assuming this is mom. Up and at him. Oh no, it's Chase. Morning, a drive. <laughs> What's going on? You've got a weird look on your face. Ah, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today is finally the big day. We're finally gonna get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. Oh, but before we do, you read the email I sent you yesterday, right? You better have. Check your computer if you didn't. I did. I did check it. I'm gonna book it to the professor's lab, so I'll see you there. All right, Chase. So I see Chase is already amped and ready to rock. He's he's excited. He already booked it out of here, so we gotta go and get our first Pokemon, man. That's what we need to do. Anyway, quick question of the day is what version do you plan on playing uh, first? Are you gonna play both? Are you gonna play one? Are you gonna play whatever? Which one is it, Pikachu or Eevee? I did a poll like a week ago on Twitter, and it was like 50-50 down to the wire with thousands of votes, and then I think Eevee actually edged it out slightly, so pretty crazy stuff, but... Off you go to Professor Oak's lab. Chase asked the professor to give you two your own Pokemon, didn't he? Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped, gonna get our first Pokemon. So I am gonna use Eevee on this playthrough, at least for some of it. Um, I may end up abandoning Eevee later in. Sorry, Eevee. But uh, I do plan on using Eevee at least at the beginning of the playthrough um, until I get my full team of bug. There should be six fully evolved bug types, I believe. Beedrill, Butterfree, Venomoth, Scyther, Pinsir, and Parasect. I think that's all of them. So uh, that'll probably be what we end up with when all is said and done. But I, I want to try the Eevee first. So, yo, oh my gosh, dude, this is wild. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Technology is incredible. You can now connect your smartphone to your game console. Oh, gotta integrate Pokemon Go to get Meltan and Melmetal, who I refuse to call Melmetal, by the way. I like to call him Mel Titan. So. When they get strong, they'll be able to protect me. All right, so there's the lab. So I think we just gotta go in there, right? Or do I go to the tall grass? I remember as a kid playing red and blue the first time I was like six or seven years old and I couldn't figure out how to get my starter because I was so little. But um, yeah, and my sister had to help me. That's, I've been playing Pokemon for a really long time and it's so wonderful to be able to experience it again like this. This is just insane. What's up, Chase, how you doing? I got two Pokeballs. Oh, Adri, Professor Oak isn't here. Do you think those Pokeballs hold the Pokemon you and I are supposed to get? I can't wait to get mine. I Can I can I check? It's a Pokeball. It contains a Pokemon. All right, so I think I actually have to go and go into the tall grass, which is like typically, you know, that was kind of like the, the homage to the original game where Professor Oak kind of jumps at you in the grass. And there he is. He's got a bunch of Pidgeys. Well, my good Pidgey, thank you for the help. Oh my gosh, look at it. I think you understand a bit better now, thanks to this. Oh my gosh, Pidgey's just flying away into the distance. Ah, if it isn't day drive. What's up, dude? Oh, of course, I promised to give you and Chase your Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to? Eevee? Look at this Eevee. What, what's this? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, my first Eevee. You encountered a wild Eevee. My, my, I certainly wouldn't have expected an Eevee to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some catching? You have to throw your Pokeball out and try to land it on the wild Pokemon for a chance to catch it. Hold your Joy-Con horizontally and point it straight at the screen. So I'm gonna use the Pokeball Plus at some point, but for now I'm gonna use the Joy-Con. So I'm gonna do that. With the Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press the A button to ready a Pokeball. Okay, you can throw the Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con. Don't forget your surroundings as you wave the Joy-Con around the place. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. I got it. I kind of want to keep practicing, but I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to practice. Uh, I'm not going to limit myself to only catching bug types. I'm just only going to use bug types because there are going to be some things in this game from my understanding that you are going to have to like have different types and stuff. So we might have to kind of mix it up a little bit and be a little bit, uh, I don't know, lenient with the rules, but it's all good. That was a pretty, pretty fine performance for our first timer, my boy. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give that Eevee you caught a name? Oh my gosh, I got to name it. How do I name this thing? What in the... Yo, this Eevee's wild. Now that's a lively Pokemon if I've ever seen one. What do I name this Eevee? Hey, wait, come back. Eevee booked it. 
you can't evolve the starter. So it's kind of like a tricky situation. It's like, I can't evolve the Eevees. So like, what am I going to do? You know, Professor Oak, these Pokeballs there. I swear they're only two a second ago, but now they're three. A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is an Eevee that A-Drive just caught. So wait, A-Drive, you caught it yourself? That one bouncing in the middle right there. What? I've never seen that happen before. Oh, ho, ho, how interesting. Oh my gosh. Well, my boy, take that Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. All right, I'm taking the Eevee then. I don't think I get to choose, so I'm going to take the Eevee because... You have to just hold L plus R plus start select and you can pick the other Pokeballs. Oh, look at the little Eevee popping up. How do I name? I don't know what to name her. Him? I don't know. We got to decide. That's going to be so tough. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. This game is definitely adorable. There's no doubt about that. Eevee became your Pokemon. I've caught it, so I'll take that. What a strange Pokemon indeed. It doesn't seem to like staying in one place, but it looks as though it's taking a shine to you. Why not give it a name? All right, do we have a boy or a girl? Let's see here. It is, it didn't tell me. So I don't even know. Oh, you know what though? I think you can tell by its tail, so I'm actually not sure. So I think I need to pick a nickname that, I think it's a male Eevee, but I'm not actually sure. So what do I name my Eevee? Let me think about this for a second. Hmm, let me think about this thing. Let me think about this. What can I name my Eevee? Hmm, I may have to, I need to take a minute here and brainstorm for a second. So you gotta bear with me. Let me take a moment here. You know, I, I thought about it for two seconds and I realized I have the best nickname ever, Darwin. Darwin, of course, Charles Darwin, of course, studied evolution. So Darwin is just a perfect name. Um, so I think we're gonna move with that. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Let me make sure I'm, I got everything good, but uh, yeah, Charles Darwin, uh, known as an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. So, Darwin it is, I love it. Darwin's been added to your party, because obviously Eevee has multiple evolutions, so it's only fitting that we name it after Charles Darwin. So, I choose this one. Chase got a Pikachu for Professor, so what was the other Pokeball then? If he got a Pikachu, what's the other one? Yo, it's Meltan, guys. That's what it is, it's Meltan. Oh my gosh, let's, can I, can, how do I look at this thing? Uh, all right, party? No, that's bag. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, party? Let's take a look. So it's a female. So I, I didn't realize that, but that's okay. Uh, oh my God, that's so cute. So it's serious nature, so it's a neutral nature. It's got tackle, tail whip, and growl. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out all this other stuff because I don't really know how any of this works. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to battle here though. So we'll figure that out. Let me see here. What does this do? Oh, I guess it doesn't do anything. Bag, Pokemon box, medicine, TM case, power pocket, battle pocket, catching pocket, clothing trunk, and candy jar. Okay, it's gonna take me a moment to get kind of accustomed to these buttons and stuff, but oh my God, look at Eevee. Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ask your help with something. Take this with you on your journey. Is it the Pokedex? Is it, is it the Pokedex? I will say, after all these years of Pokemon, it's funny that they walk in straight lines. What is that thing, Professor? Oh, this is the Pokedex that I've designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught, and it makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. A drive and chase, I want you to each take one with you. Here you go. Good lad. We got our Pokedex. Don't you normally have to, like, go do the fetch quest to the market? You can find... Uh, you'll find you can get a very detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to gather the data. To make a complete guide of all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream, but I'm an old man now, too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon. This just keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out right now, Adrive. You should do the same. If you think you're ready, that is. Ooh, so I'm not actually gonna battle him, but look at our Eevee. Darwin is staring at your face. All right, let's go, Eevee. Let's do our thing. It's time to explore the world. I'm so pumped, dude, to walk into the grass and see the Pokemon. And is that Ma? Yo, Ma. Oh, how cute. This is the one you got from the professor. What? You caught it yourself? That's amazing. What should I call your new friend? Darwin? It's a lovely Pokemon. My, how energetic. I suppose that means you two will be setting off on an adventure today, right? 
I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. Town map from mom coming in clutch. You put the town map in your bag. By using that town map in your bag, you'll know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Darwin are going to be good for each other. Oh, we got little Darwin. Little Darwin, man. Hang it out with us. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Come on, Darwin. Let's go do the thing. Let's go, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Look at the Rattata in the grass. Oh, my goodness. I'm, like, tiptoeing out here. Look at the Rattata chasing me. Wow. That's so hype, though. You encounter the wild Rattata. I'm just going to run. Yes. Although I should catch things. You know what? I'm going to catch everything. We're not going to use them, but I should really catch everything. Let's catch a Pidgey. Let's, let's try it. I should really be catching everything. Like, even though I'm not going to use it. Because I we're going to have to catch... I want to complete the Pokedex and stuff, too. Okay, so let's get ready. Okay, that was a really bad throw. Oh, baby. What you know about that? What you know about that excellent throw? I caught a Pidgey, baby. It's just a Pidgey. My, my stream homies know it's just a Pidgey. That's for sure. All right. Pidgey's data will be added to the Pokedex. Very docile. If it's hot, it'll often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. Pidgey's been added to your party. Sweet. And I can just box it right away, too, which is cool. So let's grab this little Rattata. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing, dude. This is incredible. Like... I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. Uh, let's catch this wild Rattata here. So, what does help do? No, I don't need... Oh, that's cool that they give you a tutorial. Not that I need it, but... Okay, so we have 48 Pokemon. Wow, they really hook you up. All right. Can I do a curveball, maybe? Bro, we just hummed that ball. Okay, so that doesn't work at all. Okay, I'm just wasting balls here, but it's because I'm testing the mechanic. There we go. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like messing around. I'm throwing, I don't know if you can do curveballs or anything. I have no idea. So, we caught the Rattata, baby. You caught a Rattata. And I got a Nanab Berry. And Darwin got some experience there. So, the best way to level up in this game is probably to do this. So, Rattata's data will be added to the decks. Well, chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, you can be certain that 30, 40 more live in the area. <laughs> My goodness. So it doesn't actually let you nickname them when you catch them. That's pretty strange. So I think you have to go to your party, and then you would go nickname them here, right? So change name, yeah. Okay, cool. So I actually could change Darwin's name if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep it as is. I like Darwin, even though it's it can still be named after Charles Darwin. Okay, so we've got some Pidgeys flying around here. We actually don't need any more Pidgeys, but I'm going to go talk to this young lad here and see how he's doing. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can hop down from them. You'll get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to dodge that guy there, and we're going to go kind of explore a little bit. Apparently, Eevee's going to help me find stuff um, in the grass and things like that, so we'll kind of keep an eye out for that. If Eevee's able to find any cool little items, we'll kind of walk around everywhere, just in case. Oh, a bell sprout! Abba? Seems interesting the Rattata I just caught. Well, we gotta go get that Bell Sprout because that's new. That's new on this route. It's good that they added some diversity. You encountered a wild Bell Sprout. Let's do it. Nice. Dude, I'm so ready to catch everything, dude. Like, even though I'm not using it, I'm catching it. Like, it's experience, it's fun. I wanna try uh, chaining too. There's a there's a way to get Shani's. Um, I haven't tried it yet at this point, but I'm going to. Uh, to see if I can get a shiny at some point. I'd like to mess around and try to get a shiny bug type uh, for this playthrough. That's something I historically try to do is get a cool shiny bug. So I think I'm going to go for Weedle. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe I will. But um, I know from the trailers and stuff that we're going to need a grass type to get into the first gym anyway. So that kind of checks off that box. And we're just going to catch everything we see. So let's keep it moving, man. Well, not everything we see, but one of every species, I suppose. What's up, Eevee? What'd you find? What'd you find over here, little guy? Little girl? What'd you find? A raspberry. Oh, thanks, Evie. That was so clutch of you. Sweet. Are you a trainer? You got some pretty sweet Pokemon with you. I'll bring along my favorite Pokemon later, so be ready to battle. Ooh, I get to battle this dude. Okay, so there's a ledge to hop down later. And it seems like we have made it to Viridian City. I'm on the road to Viridian City. Yeah, I remember this dude. He, like, hooks it up with a, uh, like, a TM Dream Eater or something like that in the old games. 
Dude, look at the little pond. Can you fish? Oh my gosh, dude. Where do I feel like Evie was trying to disappear on me there? How are you? I go shopping in Peter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. I'm so excited for Viridian Forest, guys. That's gonna be like the absolute positive key to the future of this playthrough, man. Let's go talk to this dude on the bench. Ooh, Team Rocket up ahead. Oh, so you're working on a Pokedex. You'll do well to stock up on Pokeballs at the Mart before you continue your adventure. We gotta see what Jesse and James are up to. You can carry around your Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Oh my gosh. Let's go check out the Pokemon Center. Let's take a look, skis. Look at Chansey. What are you doing over here? They'll be tucked away in a Pokemon box. Okay. And what about you? Please feel free to read the books on the magazine rack. Ah, very nice. Thank you, good sir. And what about you? There's a Pokemon Center in every town. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing your Pokemon. Nice. Universal healthcare. Ah, talk about some speed stats. I like that. Nice little map skis. All right. Dude, this game is stunning. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. If this is any indication of Generation 8, man, oh my gosh. There's actually two kinds of caterpillars? I do know that, my friend. I do. Let's go talk to this individual here, this gentleman. You came from Pallet Town? You must know Professor Oak, right? I got a delivery, but I can't leave the Pokemon unattended. Can I get you to take this package for me? All right, so we've got to take the uh, the parcel in our bag to go see Professor Oak, so we will definitely go do that. Do you want to head straight back to the lab? Yeah, that's cool. They give you a little shortcut. I don't have to go the long way. I can just tra fast travel back to Professor Oak here. I like that, actually. That was kind of nice. Why so soon? How is this little Eevee doing? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at it. It's adorable. It's adorable. I love it. I love it so much. Goodness me, Eevee seems to really like it's, uh, really become a true partner to you, A-Drive. I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? You handed the professor his parcel. Oh, so my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. Hey, Professor Oak, it's about my Pikachu. Its moves are... Whoa, A-Drive, that's so cool. Eevee just rides on you like that? Ah, and now we have Chase as well. What fine timing. I've just been delivered some very handy items, which I think I'll share with the two of you. Some raspberries, which we've already found. A little ahead of the curve here. And uh, I've been starving. No, those are not for you. Those are for the Pokemon to eat. When you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of those at the target before you take a Pokeball in hand. You'll find that the wild Pokemon will be so happy to have a berry to nibble on that they'll become much easier for you to catch. That was close. I nearly swallowed one of them right at myself. Now then, you two. It's up to you to decide if you want to catch lots of Pokemon or simply focusing on training your favorites. Like I. My only request is that you have fun either way. I love it, dude. I love that, man. That's so... Uh-oh. Wait up. Come on, A-Drive. You know you can do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? If you're a trainer, you have Pokemon battles with other trainers, too. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. Dude, our first ever battle of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Chase. Sent out Pikachu. All right, this is gonna be our, uh, our rival here and we're gonna throw out Darwin in the lab. Throwing down, let's do it. Level six, so we got our, we're kind of the same there. I'm gonna go for Quick Attack. Darwin, use Quick Attack. You know what they could do in future Pokemon games? I just realized, like it just came to me. What if you could choose your moves by voice commands? Why has that not been a thing? It, there's got to be a mic on the Switch, right? Or there's got to be some way they can do it on the controller where you can say, you know, Eevee, use Quick Attack, and it'll use it instead of... Oh, my gosh. I feel like I just thought of what's going to happen in Gen 8. I really do. Like, I don't know if that's a thing, but that would be incredible. Pidgey's going to learn Gus, which is nice. Good stuff. And we're going to take down Chase. What? Did I lose? Yo, Quick Attack is powerful, man. Don't sleep on my Eevee. I got Stab. Ah, oh, jeez. There I went off mouthing like I knew everything, and then I lost. How embarrassing. I probably should have trained up my Pokemon a bit before trying to battle like that, huh? Let's battle again sometime. Did you enjoy your first taste of battle, young A-Drive? Your partner, Eevee, seemed to like it. All right, guys. Well, this is where we're going to wrap up for our first ever episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Look at Eevee on top of my head. It's absolutely adorable. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to enter for the chance to win that Switch. Put your stuff in the comment section below, and good luck there. New episodes are going to be going up pretty frequently. And again, if you want to watch my marathon, it's going down right now 
on twitch.tv slash adrive 152 hours with Game Boy Luke and Patty Trails. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. That's going to be for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by adrive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.